Hi everybody, welcome to my class BRV Adventures. I'm standing here at the control center uh, for my 2017 Road Trek Simplicity. And I just wanted to kind of walk you through what some of these buttons and features and functions are. Let's start over here uh, at the very, very simple patio light. Um, it's actually quite a bright light, so when you're at a, a dark campground or whatever the case is, I think you'll really, really appreciate having the bright patio light. Underneath that is the inverter. Now, the inverter should only be turned on when you want to use 110 power. And, of course, right here I have my warning sticker. Warning, only turn inverter on when the RV is plugged in or the engine is running. And, of course, the uh, engines in Rotrek have the uh, dual special alternator, which allows for that to happen. Uh, next to that is the battery disconnect. Uh, there's lots of conversation online about whether or not the battery disconnect needs to be turned off. Uh, if you do not have solar panel, uh, solar paneling to keep the uh, battery voltage up, uh, then, uh, then I suggest you turn it off. Uh, but there doesn't seem to be a negative reason for leaving it on either. Again, as you drive down the road, the alternator under the engine charges the battery. Uh, if you have a solar panel uh, installed on it, that just helps uh, top, top off the battery power. And of course, uh, the water pump. The water pump switch must be turned on when you're not uh, attached to city water. Um, uh, it uh, needs to be able to pump the water under its own pressure. Let's have a quick look at these buttons and what they mean. So I've just dumped uh, my black and my gray tanks, so they should be empty. They should be. But we'll start here with the liquid propane. It basically shows that I'm two-thirds full. I think it's pretty standard. My fresh water tank is also two-thirds full. Now for the tricky one, the black tank. Ah, it actually shows empty. Uh, usually the black tanks, uh, after you've emptied them, show uh, one-third full. It's very common that you're going to get some debris uh, kind of attach itself to the sensors down there. So, you know, don't be alarmed if you see that. Uh, it's quite common. Your, your tanks are empty, uh, regardless of what this says. Uh, the next one is your gray tank. And you can see that it's empty as well, so we're good to go. Uh, right here, of course, is my hot water tank. And uh, for me, when I want to have a shower, I need to start that on and let it heat up for about, uh, um, oh, I'd say about 10 minutes before I can have a shower. So that's it. That's your control center on a Road Trek Simplicity. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you again on another episode.